Welcome to my live Facebook Marketplace case study where you guys are going to see everything that I did on my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account from day one, step by step, every step that I took, which products I imported to my stores, which products sold, how much profit I made, where I got them from, and so much more strategies to help you guys promote your products, get more sales, and really get this ball rolling on the Facebook Marketplace when it comes to drop shipping on it, which is totally new. Not many people are doing it, so there is no time like the present to start drop shipping on the Facebook Marketplace, guys. Enjoy these golden nuggets. And one second before you start, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that are coming out in the world of drop shipping. Enjoy and happy drop shipping. The first thing that I already did on my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping store is that I added 20 products. I don't have any sales yet. This is still the first day. I just added them to the system now and I want to show you guys exactly how I did that with the help of virtual assistants. So I have a virtual assistant on this Facebook Marketplace dropshipping store and the reason that I have my VA is because I simply do not have the time to add these products every day to my store even though the process is really really simple and really really quick. Let me show you how my virtual assistant added the first product to the Facebook Marketplace store. I asked her to record the process and I will show you guys everything else that you need to know. So for now, I only have 20 products on my Facebook Marketplace store. This is day one. I'm waiting for the first sell. Maybe in the next case study, I will already tell you guys the good news. So here's everything that I did so far. Before I begin showing you how to import products, I advise you guys to download and install the Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping Helper Chrome extension. It will help you guys import your products really easily from your suppliers to AutoDS and then from AutoDS to your Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping account. So get that extension. And here is the first product that I added to my Facebook Marketplace store. So it's this product from Amazon, these cooling towels. And here's exactly how my virtual assistant added this product to my store. The first thing that you need to do is take the product's URL. I can use the import to AutoDS button that you see here. This is available from the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping extension, not to be mistaken by the Facebook Marketplace dropshipping helper. It's two different extensions. So just write AutoDS helper on Google and it will take you to this extension, which helps you import your products quickly to AutoDS. Then you'll have the Facebook Marketplace dropshipping extension, which will help you import your products quickly from AutoDS to your Facebook Marketplace account. And that's the whole structure. That's how you can import products really quickly and save a lot of time while you're doing it. So as I mentioned, this is the first product that I added to my Facebook Marketplace store. And how am I finding the products to add to my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping store? Here's exactly how I'm doing it. Because the Facebook Marketplace is an untapped marketplace, you don't have any competition. The only thing that you need to do in order to get sales is to add products to your store, but products that are selling well, that are proven good best sellers from your suppliers, products that have good reviews, and try to find products that are trending right now, not, not products that trended half a year ago, a year ago, and so forth. So one good place to do it is to head to amazon.com. And by the way, you can work with any one of AutoDS's supported suppliers. So we got over 25 suppliers that you can work with today. Amazon is only one on the list. So here is how I do it on Amazon. I tell my virtual assistant to simply go to Amazon's movers and shakers and get products from there, also from best sellers. Okay, so if I click on best sellers over here, you'll see that we'll have a Movers and Shakers link. Movers and Shakers is the top trending products from the last 24 to 48 hours. So we're going to click on that. And from here, you can get products as long as you're staying in the right dropshipping categories. I have an article on that. What are the best categories to dropship from on the Facebook Marketplace? So I'll leave a link to that right below this video. So I'm just going to my suppliers, going to their best seller section, going to new releases from categories that I know that are selling well, and I'm simply adding those products to my store, optimizing the title a little bit, optimizing the product description a little bit, and that's all there is to it. So that's how I got to this item. How did I add it to my store? So you can click the import to AutoDS button here, as I mentioned before, this is the AutoDS Chrome helper extension, and this is the AutoDS Facebook dropshipping extension. So if I just click on this import to AutoDS button, it'll import quickly to the draft section of my store. Before I do that, I'll just click on this just to make sure that I got the right store selected on the AutoDS helper extension. So I'm going to 
deselect Best Shop USA and Nightlight stores because those are eBay and Shopify stores and I'll only leave my Facebook store open right here. So once the store is selected, as soon as I click that import to AutoDS button, it will import to my AutoDS Facebook store and from AutoDS Facebook, I will import the product to the Facebook marketplace. I can also do it another way by copying the URL up here, then heading to the AutoDS platform. Then on the left side, I'll click on add products. Here, I'll make sure to only select my Facebook store. And here I will add that product URL. So that's another way of doing it. There's also a third way of doing it by adding multiple products to your store by each simply taking the AutoDS extension and grabbing all of the item details that you have on a certain page, extract them, export as a CSV, and then import that CSV file by clicking on upload CSV right here. So for now, this is what I did just to add it as a draft section to my store. Now, once the draft ended up here on the draft section of my AutoDS store, you're going to head to the draft section, get that product, click on that arrow to open up the item editor, and then you're going to hover over the copy button in the variance column. So click on variance, see that copy button and click on it. And as you see here, in just a couple of seconds, it will say copy to clipboard. Now what you're going to do is head over to Facebook click on the marketplace and on the left side click on create new listing and then click on item for sale. Now on the left side you'll notice a paste info from AutoDS button. This is going to paste all of the information that you copied from the variance column on the draft section of AutoDS. So as you see here we click on that button and now all of the products information is slowly being transferred from AutoDS to your Facebook marketplace store. Now back to AutoDS you can start to optimize the products title delete all kinds of keywords that are irrelevant make sure that you have up to 100 letters as you can see here so you want to delete all the keywords that are not relevant keep the keywords that are good for this product and then once you got that title simply copy it and paste it back on the facebook marketplace and of course save your variant settings so now we're back to the facebook marketplace and as you can see all of the images got loaded now we are optimizing the title so we pasted the title that we copied from AutoDS. You've got the product's price, which was done with AutoDS's break-even setting. So go to your settings, look at the pricing settings for your Facebook store and set the right break-even and your profit margin. Now, under the product's description, you might have some spacing issues. So make sure to space out your description correctly, just like it's being done right here. And make sure that the product description simply looks good so that your customers will want to read it. They will understand what's going on and they won't have a whole bunch of text bunched up together, which simply doesn't look good. Now we're going to scroll down a little bit, put in the item specifications like what category it belongs to and so forth. Then you're going to click on next. Here we got the shipping method. You want to use your own shipping label and use shipping and local pickup or just shipping. The shipping options is very important. If you do not have shipping options, then the 50 states in the US will simply not see your listing and you're not going to get so many views and so many sales. If you want to have the shipping options, you have to reside in the United States. If you're an international seller, you will not have the shipping options. And then the Facebook marketplace won't be that relevant to you, unfortunately, at this time. But I will keep you guys updated for when that changes and when international sellers can also benefit from shipping to the US on the Facebook marketplace and get all those views. Now, as you see here, we've got the listing. It looks good. And on the left side, you can see a notification that the item was listed. I'm going to click on your listings. And here you can see that listing that I just imported from AutoDS. So this is one of the first few products that we added to the Facebook Marketplace store. Now let me show you all of the products that I added, all from the same supplier, all from the same method. In the next videos, I'm also going to use different dropshipping suppliers because we do need to have shipping methods that are compatible with Facebook. Facebook wants to see UPS, FedEx, and one more, if I'm not mistaken, it's DHL. It's all written there. So you want to use suppliers that can give you that type of shipping labels, that kind of tracking information. So after repeating the process for the first 20 products on my store, this is how our store looks like right now. Here is the AutoDS screen. As you can see, I'm clicking on products and you can see that I have 20 products on my store. And as you can see, all of the products that you can see here on AutoDS on the product screen is all of the products that you can also see on my Facebook Marketplace account. One more thing before you get started, make sure that you've got the Facebook Marketplace plan added to your subscription. So head to settings, plans and add-ons, 
and make sure that the Facebook Marketplace plan has been enabled. Then you know that you can start dropshipping on the Facebook Marketplace and I wish you the best luck at that. So as you see over here, these are the listings that I have on the Facebook Marketplace. And these are the products on the AutoDS system. So as you can see, the same products that we see on AutoDS are the same products that we can see on Facebook. Now, as you see, I have two orders waiting to be shipped. So let's click on view orders. And here we can see two products that are waiting to be shipped. The first one are bathroom towel hooks. So let's take a look at this product. It's an eight pack of bathroom towel hooks. Now let's see exactly what's going on with this order. So here is the buyer's details as you can see. And here's the product's title. Let's see how much I'm profiting when I'm selling this product. So if I click on it, as you can see here, I can see the whole listing on the Facebook marketplace. Here you can see the product description on the right side. I made it all very well organized, just as I explained in the last video, how to optimize your Facebook listings. So it will simply look really good. The customers will see that you are a professional store and they will end up buying from you as they did here. So what I'm going to do is copy some of the title and go back to AutoDS and search for this product title on the product screen. Now, as you can see here, I found the product. So I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, this is that same product that I have there on my Facebook Marketplace store. So as you can see here on Amazon, the product costs $14.75. And as you can see here on Facebook, I'm selling it for $18. So that leaves me with about a 13% profit margin, which is just a little bit over $2 which is enough for me just to get my first couple of sales going. Now, here is the second product that I sold on my Facebook Marketplace. It is a cutting mat for DIY projects. So let's go to the product and check it out, what it is and where I'm getting it from and how much I profited. So as you can see, here is the product's title. Once again, everything is optimized, the title, the description and everything else, just as I showed you guys in the last video. So what we're going to do here is take the title again copy it and paste it on AutoDS to find the product there and see how much we're profiting there. So as you see now, I am pasting the product's information on the AutoDS system and here I can find it on the first search result. So here is the cutting mat. Here is the product specifications and the optimizations that I made for this specific product. And if we're going to click on the source link, as you can see, we got to Amazon's page. So we can see the product on our source site really, really easily. Now let's see how much profit we made on this product. I am making a 15% profit margin by buying this product for $11.89 and selling it for $14. Just add that 5% transaction fee and the rest is your profit to be had. So that is the second product that I sold on my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping store, where I'm getting it from and how much I'm profiting. Now, this is just a small example of the products that you can sell. Here is my list once again of the products that I have right now on my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account. All of these products, I got them from Amazon, but I will make a switch now to Banggood's products because Banggood has more shipping carriers that Facebook supports, which is UPS, USPS and FedEx. So I'm going to play around with that some more. I'll keep you updated on what's going on. But as you can see here, with only 40 products, we're already in the profit zone. So as you can see here, now I have 50 listings on my Facebook Marketplace account. On the right side, you'll see eight orders waiting to be shipped. On the last video on day two, we only had two sales. So now we're up to eight sales, which is six more sales in the next couple of days. And this is only the beginning. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And here you can see the listings that I have on my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account, which is different from day two. So we've got more items this time and I'm using the same techniques to add these products to my store. Now the process for product research is the same. Simply add the best selling products from your suppliers and make sure that they can ship out their products within a couple of days and make sure that they also use FedEx, UPS or USPS as a delivery service. That should be enough for the Facebook marketplace as long as you also comply with the commerce policies. I'll leave a link to that right below this video. So as you can see here, these are the products that I have on my AutoDS platform. The same products that you just saw on my Facebook marketplace account. Here is one listing that started selling this warm crotchet hooks item. So as you can see, I'm buying it for $10 and 48 cents and I'm selling it on the Facebook marketplace for $13. As mentioned in the previous videos, the Facebook marketplace takes a 5% fee. The rest of that is our profit to be had. Here is a knitting bag, another product that's selling for me on the Facebook marketplace. So as you can see, I'm buying it for $27.99 and I've also got another $4 coupon from Amazon and I'm selling it for $34. 
subtract the 5% transaction fee, add the $4 extra profit that I'm making from that coupon. And that is how much profit I'm making, about $5 per sale for that bag. So you see what products I have on my Facebook Marketplace account. You know where I'm getting them from and what product research methods I'm implementing on my stores. So you can practice the same things on your account. But what I want to show you now is a nice feature to save you a lot of time when fulfilling your orders on your suppliers sites. So when you start getting orders, the first thing that I want you guys to do is download and install the free AutoDS dropshipping helper extension, which you see right here in front of me. What this will enable you to do is to copy the addresses and then you'll be able to easily paste them on your supplier's site. So here's exactly what I mean. Let's go back to my Facebook marketplace account here is one order that i have when i open the order details you'll notice this copy button this link is available because i downloaded and installed that extension that i just talked about so we're going to click on copy then we'll head over to the product page on amazon and add the product to our cart so that we can purchase it for the customer and of course i will take my four dollars extra coupon so that's 100 extra profit for me and go on with the checkout process first we'll mark it as a gift so that the customer will not see the price that we paid and he'll simply get it in a gift packaging without seeing the receipt then we're going to proceed to checkout next i'm greeted with the address screen so as you see here i have many 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 addresses what i want to do now is scroll down to the add a new address button to get to it faster i'll simply open up a search on my browser and i'll search for add a new then you'll see it took me straight down to add a new address i'll click on that and as you see there is a paste button here once again available through the AutoDS chrome dropshipping helper extension so remember i use this link to copy the customer's address on the order details on the facebook marketplace then i headed to amazon or to whatever supplier you're buying the product from and on the address section you'll have the paste button so both the copy and paste is available through the AutoDS chrome helper extension now i'll click on paste and as you see right here in front of me everything is being automated the customer's name address phone number city state zip code and everything else this will help you semi automate your orders and process your orders much much faster this way especially if you have 10 15 20 30 50 plus orders per day aside from that i also want to show you guys the order sheet this is where you can keep track of all of your orders so let me show you that really really quick here is the auto ds order sheet and this will help you organize all of your orders so here's what we have first you have the item id which facebook gives to you on every item that you have then you have the product id on your supplier site and you can link to it to get there faster but you also have this information on the auto ds product page then you have the customer's address so fill in the address the selling price how much it's selling for on your facebook marketplace account the buying price how much you're buying it for from your source the quantity how much you sold and then you'll have your profit which is calculated automatically so once you fill in the information here you'll know exactly how much you're profiting including facebook's fee then you'll have the order id from your supplier side the tracking number the shipping carrier tracking link once you have it and you can change the status from pending, ordered, shipped, whatever the right status is for your order. So this will help you guys organize your orders in a much better way for the Facebook marketplace and will simply make your lives much, much easier and will help you also manage your cash flow and how much you're profiting at the end of the day, week and month. So as you can see, here are the listings that I have on my Facebook marketplace dropshipping account. And as you can see there, there are more products here than we just saw recently because the more days that pass, the more my virtual assistant is adding more products and that way I'm actually getting more sales using the strategies that I talked about. Now, here are the products on my AutoDS store. So as you see, I have 69 products now and these are just the products that I simply added now recently to my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account. Of course, I'm doing everything through AutoDS. Here you can see one of the products. I'm just going to go inside the variant so you can understand how much I'm profiting on each of these products. So you can see that I have a 5% fee, which is how much Facebook is charging on my transactions with another 15% in profit. So that's my break even settings and my profit settings for every product that I'm selling. And if I find a bestseller, I raise the price in order to profit more. Now on my Facebook Marketplace account, I'll click on shipping orders. So you can see the new orders that I got on my account and as you see i have a variety of products that are selling but there is one product that's really becoming a bestseller and that is these crotchet hooks so let me show you this product here i'll go back to auto ds and i will search for that product that's selling well for me here we go warm crotchet hooks art aluminum soft grip so it's this product 
I clicked on the source link so you can see where I'm getting this product from and as you can see I'm buying it here from Amazon for $10.48 with a 10% coupon. It's always a great idea to add products with coupons because that way you're simply going to make more profit on every sale. So we know that the product costs $10.48, now let's see how much I'm selling it for. So as you see here on my Facebook orders, I'm selling each unit for $15. Now let's try to see exactly how much profit I'm making on every time these crotchet hooks sell. So as you see my selling price is $15 as we can see in the variant settings with a 36% profit margin. That's because this product has been starting to sell well for me and as I just mentioned, when you have a product that's starting to sell, you want to increase the product's price. You also have automation settings in AutoDS that will automatically raise your product price every time you sell and lower the price if the product doesn't sell for an X amount of days. So using the automation settings on AutoDS will really help you profit more on products that are selling and increase your chances of selling products that are not selling. So that pretty much covers up which products I'm selling, what happened in the last couple of days on my store. Now I wanna talk about adding bank information so that you can actually withdraw the funds from Facebook to your own bank account and enjoy your profits. In order to add your bank information to the Facebook marketplace, the first thing that you wanna have ready is your bank information. In this case, I went with Payoneer as my bank account, as you can see here. So I'm going to request two more USD receiving accounts so that I will simply have more USD bank accounts to use on other marketplaces that I'm also selling on. So now it says we received your request. Payoneer received my request for two USD bank accounts and here they are. As you can see, I have two new USD accounts. Now what I'm going to do is copy these bank account details onto my Facebook marketplace. So let me show you how it's done. First thing you wanna do is head into the Facebook marketplace, click on your account and then click on your sales. Here you will see your pending balance. What you want to do is click on view payment info. Now you can start entering your new bank information. So enter all the right information. In this case, I'm copying the details from my Payoneer account. As you can see here, I'm simply copying each line, the account number, the routing number, confirm your bank account number, and then finish payment setup. That's all the steps that there are. As you can see here, the information that I provided are now on the Facebook marketplace. Facebook is going to go through a quick verification process and then they will approve my bank account. That's all there is to it. That's how easy it is to add your bank account information. There should be no problem with that as long as it's a real bank account. And Payoneer, of course, is a real bank account so you can use them. Of course, you can also use a real physical bank account if you live in the US because Facebook is looking for a US bank account. So in this case, if you're an international seller, you can use Payoneer, but also remember that you have to have a US IP address in order to have shipping options on the Facebook marketplace, which I mentioned before. So if you do not have shipping options, then people will not be able to see your listings in the US and you won't be making much sales on the Facebook marketplace. So keep that in mind, use a US bank account so that you can actually withdraw your funds and enjoy your profits. So here are the products that I have on my store through my AutoDS account. If you've watched the previous videos, you'll know exactly how I'm adding these products. And as you see, I've got 80 products on my store now. So on days eight and nine, 80 products on my store. That's an average of almost 10 products added per day from my virtual assistant. Here is a product, the flying ball infrared, as you can see here. And as you can see here on the right side, the cell IDs or the source IDs where I'm getting these products from, the last set of products that I added to my Facebook marketplace store is from Banggood, as you can see right here. I just clicked on the source link and I went straight to the source product site. So as you can see, all of these products are from Banggood and the reason for that is because Banggood gives us UPS, USPS and FedEx tracking labels and we need that so that Facebook can see exactly what's going on with our packages and we'll get our payments much faster that way. That's a quick tip for you if you're wondering which suppliers you should use when dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace. Amazon is also okay, but sometimes they'll give you shipping carriers that are not what I just mentioned. And then it'll be hard for the buyer to track his progress, to track the progress of his delivery and see what's going on with his package. And if he opens an item not received case, it's going to be harder for you to prove that the product did reach its destination. So in the last set of items that I added to my store through my virtual assistant, I went with Banggood. Now I wanna talk a little bit about customer service because customer service really helped me get some sales. Here are my listings on my Facebook store. You can see that flying ball that we just saw in Banggood and I have 11 orders waiting to be shipped. Now, as you can see down here, I have a couple of messages. One customer asked me right here, her name is Irene, does it say how much they will load and what you can stick to it, like paint, wallpaper, etc. This is a 27 piece uh, wall clip hanger. So basically what Irene here wants to know is when we're using these wall hook hangers, what is the maximum amount of capacity that 
these wall hooks can hold and also what type of products can we put on those wall hooks. So what I simply did was I used AutoDS to get to the supplier site really quickly on that same product and give her the answer from there. So here I pasted the answer, application can be used on a variety of surfaces such as glass cabinets, etc. Very stable, very powerful with more product information there. So I don't need to read it here. You can see the answer that I gave her down here. And you can see right after that, she wrote, I just ordered them. So that's another sale that I got really easily by simply giving her an answer that I had on my supplier's site. So what happened here was a customer simply asked a question on one of the products. What I did was I went to my supplier's website to get the answer from there and I gave her the answer through Facebook chat. Now, if you guys watch my previous videos on the Facebook marketplace, I mentioned how the customer service there is really great because when a buyer has a problem or if they simply want to ask any question about the product before purchasing they simply reach out to you using facebook chat and then they can see that they're actually interacting with a real human and not some robot so it gives them more confidence to reach out to you and ask any questions before they actually go and buy and here is a perfect example for that once you give them the answer they'll have the confidence to go and purchase here is another customer who wrote do you have more how much will i pay if i buy more than one this is for the white LED product that's actually a bestseller on my Facebook store. I will show it to you soon. And in this case, I'm not profiting so much, so I couldn't give him a, a, any type of discount. But if you do have enough profit margin, like 40% and up, I'm working at this point with a lower profit margin because I want to get this store to start working. But now that we reached almost 30 sales in just eight days, I'm ready to start turning up my profits just like I'm doing on my eBay dropshipping stores, Shopify and other marketplaces. Same thing goes here. Now is the time to up those prices and profits. Now I'm going to open up my notifications so you can see not just how many products are selling, but how fast they are actually selling on my store. So let me click on my notifications right down here. And as you can see, eight hours ago, 12 hours ago, 13 hours ago, 14 hours ago, 15 hours ago, 16 hours ago, 18 hours ago. So almost every hour I have at at least a couple of sales and you can see that through here through my notification screen over there you'll also see when buyers are sending you messages so always be sure to check out your notifications and see what's happening on your facebook marketplace store now i'm going to click on shipping orders so that you guys can see what products are actually selling on my store so here are those warm crotchet hooks the white led outdoor which Keikilani here asked a question. And as you see, those two products are actually my best sellers out of all the products that I tested so far. And as you can see, people are also buying more than the quantity of one. Like the warm crotchet hooks, for example, are being sold for $15, but here you can see the latest sell is for $30 because someone bought two. Same thing goes for those white LED lights. They cost $35 for the quantity of one. And as you can see here, someone bought it for $70 because they bought two units. So that's another thing that I recommended in my previous videos to add more than the quantity of one on these best selling products that you're getting from your suppliers. And if you guys still don't know how to research for the right products to sell on the Facebook marketplace, watch our Facebook marketplace videos on our YouTube channel and you'll learn everything. Now let's take a look at the profit margin for one of these best selling products. Let's go with the white LED light outdoor solar power our lights right here so i found it on auto ds i'm just going to click on the source id to see it on my supplier site in this case it's banggood so as you see here i'm buying this product for 26 dollars and 24 cents and i'm selling it respectively for 35 dollars the only fee that i'm paying here is a five percent transaction fee from the buying price from 35 dollars i'm paying that to facebook and the rest is my profit here is the product that i sold twice as you can see quantity two for 35 bucks a pop that's 70 dollars total in just one transaction. So those two products are my best sellers out of all of the 29 products that sold in the last eight to nine days when I first created this account. And as you can see, customer service also helped me out here. One last thing that I want to show you guys before I wrap up this video, if you guys want to know how to add virtual assistants that will help you run your dropshipping stores, just like I have going on my account, all you need to do is on AutoDS, click on settings on the left side, then click on the users tab on the top. And here you want to add your first virtual assistant user. For this feature to be enabled, first make sure that you have it activated on your plans and add-ons. The VA users here on the bottom. Once it's activated on users, click on add user and add your first virtual assistant. As you can see here, you can give them privileges to what you want on your store. So for example, you can let them view and edit your active products, delete drafts, view and edit orders, handle customers' messages and cases, and more. So here, for example, I'm going to give my VA a name, her email address. 
give her a password, give her privileges on some of your stores, all of your stores, or one store, what things you want them to have access to on your stores. All right, so once your virtual assistant account is ready, simply give them the login information that you created right here, and they can already go log in and start working on your Facebook Marketplace store. So as you guys know from my previous videos, I've added about 90 products to my store, which is less than 100 products in those 10 days using the help of my virtual assistant. And I sold about 30 products, if not more by this day. So those results are actually not bad at all for a new dropshipping store. So I'm glad that I recorded everything and I got this live case study going for you guys. Let's see what happened on day number 10. So the first thing that I wanna show you guys is that Facebook created a new inbox where you can see all of your customers' messages. There you can also label your messages, reply to your customers, and also filter your messages. So here's what it looks like. As you see here, you got the products that you're selling. So I'm going to keep it on the selling tab. And as you see here, I can view my chats. So I'm viewing right now my individual chats and you can filter by label. So for example, I can see what products are pending payments. So what products people want to buy, but they haven't paid for it yet. What products people have paid for that haven't been shipped yet, so to be shipped. What products I shipped will be unshipped and orders that have been completed. And as I scroll down here, you can see that another best-selling product that started selling really well for me recently are these pop fidget toys. And I'm sure that you guys know what they are. Kids are having a blast from it. And as you can see here, I'm selling this product pretty much every day. So here you can see the little chat history that I had. And as you can see here, Joey, I replied to his message. Don't worry, your order is going to be processed. He just asked what's going on with his order, when it will be processed. Only one day has passed, so I gave him that answer. Christy placed an order, Louise placed an order, Connie placed an order, Isabella placed an order. Sunday, 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 Sunday. So here you can see that this product is actually selling pretty well. And on this screen, I also wanted to introduce you guys to that new inbox that Facebook just created. Okay. So that's a quick introduction to that. Now let's go see what else has been happening on my store. So as we can see here, these are my Facebook marketplace listings. I added more products. I'm trying to find more best sellers. And one of the products that has been selling really well for me is those white LED lights that I talked about. I also mentioned them in the previous video. So you can see here the products that I sold, those warm crotchet hooks and the white LED lamp solar garden lights have been selling really, really well. So here's the white LED product. Here I'll click on variants. And what I wanna do now is show you guys how to create a promotion so you can sell more of those products that have been selling well. First, I'll click on the source link so you can see how much I'm buying this product from. So I have it open right here. It's from Banggood and it cost me $26.24. Right now I'm selling it for $35, but what I wanna do is create a sale promotion. So I'm going to raise my price a little bit from $35 to $36.99. Now I'll save that variation through AutoDS and the price will automatically update on my Facebook Marketplace shop. And as you can see here from the order details, this product is being sold for $35, but right now I just changed it to $36.99. Now I'm going to click on promotions on the left side and I'm going to create a promotion. Now you can do this to products that are selling well and you can also do this to products that are not selling so well for you and you want to try and move them. So here is the promotions page and you can select which listings you would like to promote. So I'll just create a search for white LED. And here we go. Here's the white LED light outdoor solar power lights product. So I'm going to simply click on that. It's this product, as you can see here, $36.99. And on Facebook, you can see that it's $37. Facebook just raised it up a little bit, but as you can see, AutoDS already updated my Facebook store. I'm going to give this promotion a name. We'll just call it LED light promo. And here we can choose the promotion type if we wanna give a flat percentage or if you wanna give a fixed dollar amount discount. In this case, I'm going to go with a 5% discount. The start date, you can choose whatever date you want from today, tomorrow, the next week, the next month, when you wanna start the promotion, at what time, and when you would like to end this promotion. So simply choose your dates and choose your time. And of course, choose what products you would like to promote and give it a promotion name, which is everything that's happening right here. And here at the end, you can also choose if you would like to apply this promotion to all of your listings or just to the ones that you selected. So in this case, I'm only going for that best-selling product because I simply want to sell it some more. If it's selling well, let's try to get more people to see this product and get them to buy it too. So I upped the price a little bit. $2 is not a lot. But when you give them a promotion and more eyes are going to see your listing, you'll have a much higher chance of selling it. So now I'm going to click on create promotion. And that's it. As you can see right here, I have an active promotion. It says right here, ends August 6th, LED light promo, 5% off on one listing. 
So as you can see here, $37 was crossed out and now it's back to $35. So I'm not actually losing any profit because I upped the price a little bit. And as you can see right here, here's the listing $37 crossed off to now being $35.15. That's all there is to it when it comes to creating promotions for your Facebook Marketplace store. Once again, do it on products that are selling and also do it on products that aren't selling. Try to get those slow movers to move some more and get your fast movers to move even faster and make more sales and more profit.